Hi everyone, it's your girl Regina coming to you with another cruise tip video. If this is your first time joining me, welcome to my channel, Regina's Crazy Life. I shoot cruise tip videos every single week, so make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you will not miss out. And starting next week, I will be going live every single Saturday at 1 p.m. to answer all your cruise questions as well as answer some of the questions that I get throughout the week. This week, I want to talk to you guys about Bahamas Paradise Cruise Line. My five likes, my five dislikes about this cruise line that's down in West Palm Beach. So stay tuned. get into these five likes and dislikes that I know everybody is dying to know what my likes and my dislikes is. I want to remind everybody that this channel is sponsored by RenewGoo.com. I'm going to leave their link in the description bar so that you guys can head over to their website and check out all the items that they have at 70% off retail price. They have comforters, sheets, uh, um, towels, washcloths, health and beauty, uh, lamps, uh, you name it, they got it. Purses, perfume, hundreds, hundreds of things that you can purchase at 70% off retail price and they will ship it right to your home. And don't forget, when you place that order, use my code Regina for 15% off. I will leave the link and the code in the description bar so you guys, again, can go over and check out their website, you will not be disappointed. I also want to give a shout out to David and Sharon Nicholas. They subscribed to my channel right before I shot this video. So thank you guys so much for hitting that subscribe button. And I also want to thank everybody that have subscribed to my channel and all the people that watch my videos. Thank you guys so much. And again, keep hitting that subscribe button. Thank you guys for all the love. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a like, my number one like and my number one dislike right after each other so we can um, equally go down the list. So the first thing I want to say that I like about Bahamas Paradise Cruise Line is their pricing. They always run in some type of deal where, you know, the second person sell for free or you get 50% off the drink package or, you know, $99, ladies night. They always run in some type of special. So... I really enjoy the prices that Bahamas Paradise Cruise Line have for these two night cruises that they offer us. Also, if you're one of them people that just like solo cruising or you just want your own room, they do not charge you no extra charges, no solo surplus costs, none of that. You could get your own room at the exact same price that you would have paid for if you were sharing a room with somebody else. So pricing, I really love their pricing. Okay, the number one thing I don't like about Bahamas Paradise Cruise Line is it is an older boat. In case you guys do not know, Bahamas Paradise Cruise Line purchased their two boats from cruise lines that actually retired these boats. I know the Grand Celebration came for Carnival. I don't know where the Grand Classica came from, but these ships was retired by old other cruise lines. So sometimes you can still see some of the other cruise lines logos. You know, the decor is kind of old. I will say that the cruise ship is clean, but the ship, you can see the wear and tear of the ship, you know, that it's been around for a long time. You know, they tried to paint it. They tried to, you know, make it look nice. It is clean, but it is an older ship. So you will not see any of the newer, like, waterworks and things like that that you see, basketball courts, anything like that, movie theaters, nothing. You will not see any of the upgrades that you will see in the newer type ships in these particular two um, ships that Bahamas Paradise Cruise Line. So basically, you just get in the ship. You basically get in the room. You get in a place to for paid for entertainment. You know, you get in a Lido deck, some jacuzzis. You basically getting a cruise ship. So just keep in mind, they are older ships. They do not come with all the upgrades and amenities that you will see on the major cruise line. 
Okay, number two. The second thing that I liked it about Bahamas Paradise Cruise Line is they had that late night buffet. If you know, on major cruise lines they usually have pizza or something like that. But being able to go down to the buffet late at night because you know, if you ate at six o'clock um dining time you know 10 o'clock you might start getting a little hungry they do have a late night buffet that you can go up on the lido deck and eat all you want to eat so having that late night buffet is really good i remember back in the days carnival used to have what they call a late night breakfast they've been stopped doing that they haven't done it for years you pretty much stuck with eating pizza late at night or purchasing food so i appreciate bahamas paradise cruise line for having that late night a buffet okay the second thing that i did not like about the Bahamas Paradise Cruise Line is everything costs on this ship. Everything. Everything costs. The entertainment, cups, bingo, casino, comedy show, everything costs. You ain't going to get nothing on this ship free but the food. And it, the, being on the ship ain't free because you paid to be on there. So nothing is free. No type of entertainment is free. Every time you turn around, they're trying to offer you something. They're trying to get you to pay two for one to go to the comedy show. They always, all the entertainment, everything you have to do on this ship, it has a cost. It's not no big, huge cost, but it's a cost. It's not like what I'm used to where once you pay your cruise fees and you get on the ship, entertainment and all that you know it's free it's not like that everything you do on this ship comes with a fee and that's what i do not like they should have more free entertainment for the guests that support this cruise line so no i do not like that okay number three the third thing i like is the drinks i like the fact that they actually fix drinks they don't shortchange you on the alcohol so that you could spend money on the next drink they actually provide you with good alcoholic drinks you can actually taste the alcohol in it you don't have to buy 20 drinks to feel the buzz i really enjoyed the fact that they actually fix the drinks right on this cruise ship and they do not water the drinks down so shout out to that number three third or the third thing i didn't like was where's the fun squad where the people that's Way the way the trivia, way the people that do, you know, the the, the limbo contest, way the people who host chair car um the hair chest contest. Where is the fun squad? It was not way the free arts and crafts show that the fun squad usually do with the guests and get out and have fun with the guests. None of that. It was no dance sauce. No none of that. The only time you seen some of the crew members who I would consider to be the fun squad was on day one at the sell away party. We did have a sell away party. And on day two, um before we sailed away from Pre Freeport, they had a little contest like it was like a miniature scavenger hunt on the Lido deck and that was it. You didn't, there was no fun squad. Like I said, it was no trivia. It was no, um, little arts and crafts show. It was no towel folding class. None of the little free stuff that you will get when you win a ship that have a fun squad. I mean, they was pretty much non void. So, um, Bahamas Paradise Cruise Line, just a tip, get you a fun squad, play some games with the people. They really would enjoy it. And it won't be such a big deal when you asking them for $10 to go to a comedy show. So maybe you want to get them a, get a fun squad to do some activities with your guests. Okay. Number four is the main dining room. I really enjoyed their main dining room. It was really nice. The dishes and stuff was clean. The service was good. They brought us whatever we ordered off that free menu. It wasn't overcrowded. I really enjoyed the main dining room. Me personally, when I go on a uh, major cruise line, you know, it's always, the, the di main dining room is overcrowded. There's always people walking by you while you're trying to eat. A lot of hustle and bustle. But with Bahamas Paradise Crew, it was a nice setting. It was a nice, just laid back, uh, enjoyable dinner in the main dining room. I really ain't got, got to enjoy the people that I was with when I was on this ship because we just felt like it was just us having dinner. So I really appreciated that. Okay. The, the fourth thing that I didn't like about Bahamas Paradise Cruise Line was they closed the buffet during the main dining room hours. Like the first night, you know, I was okay with going to the main dining room. You know, you always, woo, you all excited. You know, you're on the cruise, blah, blah, blah. But on the second day, after you've been in port all day, you've been to the beach, you, you know, you know, got all this sun, you might not want to get dressed up and put on heels and all of that and head over to the main dining room. You might just want to go up to the Lido deck, grab you something to eat, go back to your room and chill. You couldn't do that on Bahamas Paradise Cruise Line because the main buffet 
on the Lido deck is closed while they're having six and eight o'clock dining. So don't don't skip the main yo um don't skip dining at six or eight, whichever one you pick, because it's no food for you to eat on the Lido deck unless you paying for food. Now, if you're gonna pay for something to eat and not go to the main dining room, then that's fine. But the buffet is closed. The only thing available on that buffet is ice cream and something to drink. That's it. So the buffet do be closed when it's 6 o'clock and 8 o'clock dining going on. Okay, number five. The fifth thing I like about Bahamas Paradise Cruise Line. Let me tell y'all something. I have been on a lot of cruises. And one of the things that I have never done while I was on the cruise is get in the pool on the main, uh, on the Lido deck. Because the pool on the Lido deck from the time you get on this ship until the time you get off these ships is overcrowded. Now, for the first time when I went on Bahamas Paradise Cruise Line, I actually got on in the pool on the Lido deck. It wasn't overcrowded. The Grand Classical actually had two ships. They had, I mean, two um pools. They had one in the middle of the Lido deck and they had one on the back of the deck where the two jacuzzis was. So I actually was able to get in the pool while I was on this cruise because the Lido deck was not overcrowded. Everybody that was on the Lido deck was nice and friendly and they had all the chairs and everything was organized. They didn't have chair hoggers, none of that. So I enjoyed my time on the Lido deck when I was on this cruise. The fifth thing that I didn't like about Bahamas Paradise Cruise, this is my final one is Where's the cruise that director? Bahamas Paradise Cruise Line get you a cruise director. I think if you uh, if you if you had one, I, we don't know who they was. I think if this ship would invest in a cruise director or the cruise line itself get a cruise director for both of their ships, if they got one and we just didn't know it, maybe they just need to get a new one because I, 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 no cruise director. As far as I know, we didn't have a cruise director. Nobody introduced themselves as the cruise director, none of that. So get you a cruise director, get some stuff organized for your guests to do. We don't want to just get on the ship and because it's a ride over to to Freeport or over to the Bahamas. We actually want to enjoy the ship also. So maybe it's time for Bahamas Paradise Cruise Line to get a cruise director. Or if they have one, they not doing their job. I'm just going to say it like that. Say Regina said. Regina said you're not doing your job. Get a new one. Okay, I promise you guys some tips at the end of this video. Or not really tips. I want to share with you guys. Okay, before I end this video, I want to let everybody know. I did go on. Last year, I went on the Grand Classical. This year, July 25th through July 27th. Uh, yeah, July 27, that's 2020, I will be on the Grand Celebration. The Grand Celebration is actually total cost for me to go. It's $257.45. I actually purchased, they had 50% off um, 10 coupons for the for alcohol. So I, got, I actually paid for that also, which was $43.39. So my total cruise came up to $389.84. But if you do not, if you're thinking about about getting on this cruise with me i've never been on the grand celebration i have heard things about the grand celebration so i specifically set for me to go on this ship so i can get us some footage i can get us some feedback i can find out what's going on what's not going on so i can bring it back to you guys who are either thinking about going on this cruise now or you already booked this cruise line and you might be going after me. So again, I will be on the grand celebration Saturday, July the 25th through Monday, July the 27th, 2020. Join me if you can. Uh, all I did was I called them, booked it. I put $50 deposit down. I actually, you know me, I'm, I'm a budget cruiser. I put a $50 deposit down as long as you had a cruise paid off 30 days before you go. Bahamas Paradise Cruise Line is fine with it. So I set up me a little a payment plan to pay $63 a month until it's time for me to go. So again, I'm going on a grand celebration. I got a few questions I am going to call uh, Bahamas Paradise Cruise Line because I happen to look at the... Um, uh, literary and uh, literary. I never can say that word right. God, oh, never can say the artillery. And I noticed that it actually didn't say Freeport. It actually said uh, Grand Bahamas. So I need to call them because Grand Bahamas is still on um, on the Freeport Island. I know Carnival built their own port over in Freeport. So I don't know if they gonna we we are now darking 
in where we docked at when we, I went on the grass celebration, or as we docking at the carnival port, which is I hope we is because carnival built all type of stuff over there for their passengers. Because I did notice when I was in Nassau, shout out to Bahamas Paradise Cruise Line. I think they trying to listen to some of the stuff we say and try to do some upgrade because now they have Nassau on the Grand Classical. The Grand Classical now go to Nassau. I literally seen the Grand the Grand Classical. In dark, when I was on the Carnival Magic two weeks ago. So, yes, the Grand Classical do go to Nassau. So, now you have that choice of either going to Bahamas, um, the Nassau port, or you go head over to Freeport. So, again, you guys, if you can join me, join me. If you're thinking about joining me, leave it in the comment. I'm going to give you a shout out. You know, we're going to have, we're going to turn up whether the boat old, new. We're going to have our own fun. So, I want to thank you guys for watching another one of my videos. I hope you enjoyed my likes and my dislikes about Bahamas Paradise Cruise Line. Before I end this video, it's been a question that I get asked all the time, and I want to go ahead and address it. People is always asking me what type of documents they need to get on Bahamas Paradise Cruise Line. It's the same documents that you need when you get on any other major cruise line. Now, it's only it's one it's one catch about Bahamas Paradise Cruise Line. Okay, you either going to use your birth certificate in your ID or you just all you need is your passport it's the same thing now if you plan on on just taking the ship over to NASA or just taking the ship over to Freeport meaning that you're gonna go over to NASA on a Saturday but you're gonna wait till the ship come back around Monday or Tuesday because you're gonna hang out at the resort for three or four days then you're gonna need your passport but if you just taking the ship over there for the day and then you're gonna get back on the ship when it's time for the ship to sail away, all you need is your birth certificate and your ID or your passport. Again, thank you guys for watching this video, and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye, everyone.